This Headless Professor video is about Kurt Lewin and his field theory. Kurt Lewin lived from 1890 to 1947. He was a German-Jewish social psychologist who ended up in the United States. His system is known as force field analysis, or field theory. He influenced our current understanding of group dynamics, action research, management theory, especially theory Y and leadership, organizational development, and another social psychologist, Leon Festinger, who came up with cognitive dissonance theory. The key terms in understanding Lewin are the following. Each individual has his or her own life space. That's the phenomenological point of view as the world and its opportunities and threats are seen from that individual's own perspective. In the life space there are various valences, values, good things, bad things, opportunities, and threats. There are also vectors. These are opportunities, strengths, weaknesses, your ability to get what you want. There are also various obstacles, things that are between the individual and the valences. The important thing to remember about the life space, according to Lewin, is that it is very dynamic, always changing. Force field analysis studies how individuals make decisions and how their decisions change because the life space is also changing. This is what the life space looks like to an individual person. There are good things that the individual would like to achieve and there are bad things that the individual would like to avoid. This is the best case scenario where the individual has a vector, a means of achieving that which is good, and also an obstacle, something to protect him from something bad. This is the worst case scenario. The individual has an obstacle preventing him from achieving that which is good, and yet there's nothing to protect him from that which is bad. This is a common kind of conflict in decision making, according to Lewin. This is known as an ambivalence. The individual has a choice and can move in this direction and attain a new situation. But this new situation has both a good and a bad valence to it. And so the individual is not certain. The individual is somewhat undecided, ambivalent about making this choice. This is a different kind of conflict that Lewin called approach, approach. The individual is in a certain situation where he has to choose between two future situations, both of which are good, but one is over here and the other is over there. The individual can only move in one direction at a time and can only achieve this good situation over here, in which case he would lose this, or he can go in this direction over here and lose that. That's an approach-approach conflict in decision. Well, that's better than this. This is an avoidance-avoidance decision. The individual could perhaps build a barrier to put over here and avoid this bad situation, or he can build a barrier to avoid something over here and avoid this bad situation. But as it is, he cannot avoid both bad situations. Lewin's theory is also used by management change organizations, and they speak of harnessing these dynamic principles of changing life space in order to get individuals on board 
with new organizational changes. We start off with the old structure of an organization. And we have to unfreeze it, thaw it out, so that individuals will be open to see the change. We then make the change happen, and then we refreeze it. And individuals now have the choice to participate in this new structure. That's Kurt Lewin's theory.